All right, 18 Ferndale. Pretty decent neighborhood here. Roof looks flat, but there's a few patchy shingles there. Gutters are in place, gutters and downspouts are in place on the front, they're a little bit saggy. Old metal uh, awning thing over the front door, it's a little bit overgrown in the front. Uh, plaster looking siding on the, uh, on the siding. You hear this plaster looking stuff. Uh, electric box, looks alright. Another metal siding, metal uh, awning thing on the side here. Side door to the kitchen. Can't really see the top top roof there, but these shingles here on the lower part look a little bit uh, a little dirty. Gutters are there, but they're saggy. I don't see any outside HVAC thing anywhere. Um, here's the entrance to the basement. Yeah, no, no outside HVAC unit anywhere. This door on here is pretty old. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a small house. We got um. As soon as you come in this, the door, there's the stairs right in front of you. Over here is the kitchen, side door to the outside. And over here, like living room area, and then behind the stairs here is a bathroom, and then one bedroom in the corner. And then upstairs we have two bedrooms, one bathroom. It's uh, mostly old wood and old metal windows. These are old metal windows with the like wavy glass on there. Kitchen cabinets look pretty old. They're in decent shape, but they're they're just looking a little bit dated. Plumbing and stuff in here looks. Looks like it's mostly good. Nothing's hooked up to the sink, but the, the pipes are all there. Uh, tile on the ceiling. There's a few, uh, that would have been where those shingle patches are on the, on the roof probably. There's a couple of holes there in the, in the roof slats. All these are old cabinets here. Metal window, metal window, metal, metal, all old metal windows in this room here. Uh, the walls look alright. The walls don't look too bad if you repaint them. They're missing some walls here and obviously missing the ceiling. Don't see any further issues up on this section of the ceiling here. Uh, old wood on the floors. It looks a bit dirty, a bit stained. I don't know if you could. Plus there's a good bit of patchiness in the middle here. Um, wall, AC wall unit there. It's a little bit of a buckling in the floor coming like up a little bit. A little electrical flame thing coming from the outlet. And over here we have the one bathroom downstairs. Our main floor. Doesn't look like there's any piping going to where the toilet's supposed to be. Big heavy tub. Um, can't really tell if there's any, any pipes coming to the tub here. If anything's hooked up, I can't tell. Uh, the rest of these coppers look like they're mostly in place. There's a PVC thing there. Definitely the, uh, definitely the piping looks unfinished. And then, of course, we're missing the walls and everything in here. And uh, this would be piping to the top bathroom. That's not connected there with the PVC. But all these other coppers are in place. Okay. 
And then here we have the one downstairs bedroom. We have one newer vinyl window. I think that might be the only vinyl window in the house. Not newer, it's a, but it's in decent shape. Um, old metal window there. Walls look good in here all around. Trim looks all right. Kind of looks like it's just like wood boards, but wood on the floor. Yep. These doors don't really match all the way. Kind of uh, downstairs in the basement. It's a little bit short down here. I think it's only like six four. Yep, six foot four down here. Gas meter looks good. Gas meter looks like it's pretty new. Some pump in the corner there. Exit to the back yard. Metal windows all down here. Cement floor. I can't tell if there's any waterproofing. It's a flat, no seam there. So this would be where the toilet goes. So there's no piping underneath here for the toilet. Uh, there's this PVC over here in the corner. One cut copper, I don't know if that's not used anymore or what. I guess that would be below like the tub sink area in that bathroom. Those aren't connected to anything. This copper looks newer. Looks like it's uh, maybe in progress, you know. So uh, water heater looks good. Water heater definitely looks fine. And the HVAC, the HVAC doesn't look too bad either. It looks like it was last serviced in 2013. It's got dates on here from 2004 to 2013 in pen there. And it looks like all this stuff is there. So it doesn't really look too bad. <clears throat> oil furnace is what it says. Oil furnace. I don't know if that means it's got like radiators or something. I don't know. Uh, ducts look good. Over here. This plumbing here. This copper plumbing all looks like it's pretty new. I think that looks like it's running to maybe the kit. Uh, it's all just kind of running along the ceiling here. I can't really tell where that's going. Um, electric box is 100 amp. Everything's connected there. Yep. There are the vents, but there's also these kind of I don't know if that's like a baseboard heater thing. And upstairs we have the two bedrooms, one bath. Uh, pretty empty in here. Cement shower base, cement block shower base there. All these pipes are kind of in place, but obviously it needs new f uh, faucets, fixtures, and everything. Old wood window there, old looking sink, old, just old stuff. And these two top bedrooms, both old wood windows in here. Ceiling height is not the best in these rooms. It's uh, six foot 10, I guess it's all right. Tile on the ceiling, the walls look okay. They maybe probably just need to be repainted. No flooring. You got decent sized closet, although it's kind of short closet. And over here on this side of the house, same thing. It's like a mirror of that other bedroom. Old wood windows, AC window unit there. Decent sized closet, a little short. Tile on the ceiling. And like wood look tiles on the floor here. Walls look decent. Yep, alright, that's it.